Hey everyone, Tedessens here, and today I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about how to use the Ancient Calculator. Now when first looking at the Ancient Calculator, you go to your Ancients tab, and you say, okay, I have now Dora, Libertas, Mammon, and Silatas. As you can see, they're all level 1. Yours may or may not be level 1, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Don't worry too much about that. So the first thing you're going to do is you go up into the Options menu, press Save, and then you don't have to actually save it to a part on your desktop or anywhere on your computer. When you press save, it's the same thing as pressing Control uh, C. It copies it and saves it in your copy bin. So then you bring it over, and if I can pull up the calculator, this is what the calculator looks like before adding anything or putting anything in. So what you're going to do is take your file, Control V, or you can you know right click and click paste. Either one works. Afterwards, press import. Now once you import, there's two things to note. The first one is this button, this uh, little tab right here says include souls gained after ascension. Now if you have zero souls and after ascension you get 30, you're not going to want to actually add levels until after you do that. So what I usually do is say, eh, ignore that for now. I haven't done the full ascension yet. And we can click update. Now it's also important to take a look at this. It says idle mode, no clicks or abilities. This takes into account if you're using an idle um, an idle an idle build versus an active build. If you're using an idle build, you're not going to use any of the abilities that are on the side, so I would keep it with that if you're using an idle build. Now if we come over here to where we're actually going to pay attention most, you can see that it says current and target. Current here with souls is 364. Now if we go over and take a look at where we were, it should say 364. But if you take a look, it doesn't. It says 359. And we say, why is it 359? Because 359 plus the 5 for the ascension is 364, which means that it did not actually update. So if that happens, sometimes you just might want to um, re-click import, and it should come back as 359. It can happen, uh, so just be weary about that. So 359, it also says that my target is 195. That means after I level up all the ancients I already have, I will I should have 195 hero souls left over. Going under that amount of hero souls may cause a decrease in DPS and slow the game a little bit for the next ascension. That's something you always always want to keep in mind. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is down here. As you can see, Dora, Libertas, Mammon, and Silatas are highlighted. That means those are the ancients that I have at the moment. And as you can see, it says 1, 1, 1, 1. That means I only have one level right now. If you see this plus 1 and 2, this is saying that if I add one more level, I will have two levels. This is under the target, which means this is what you're going to want to follow. So you're going to add one level to Dora. So if we go back to the Clicker Heroes page, give me one second. Going back to the game, we go, OK, so Dora plus 1, boom. Now we have two levels, and we come back to the to the uh, calculator, and you can see two. We're going to do the same thing for Libertas, Mammon, and Silatas. Libertas says up 10 to make 11. So again, we go back to the game. Libertas, up 10. If you press Shift, hold it down, and click it, it'll go up 10 really fast. Boom, 11. There you go. Again, we're going to switch back over and take a look. It says Mammon up 5. So we're going to scroll down in the game, go up 5 on Mammon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 6. So now if we come back, it says up 5, get 6. Perfect. Last but not least is Sealatas. It says up 11 to get 12. Come back to the game one last time, and we go to Sealatas, up 11. So I'm going to shift click for 10, one more is 11, that's 12. Now if we take a look, do you remember it said target souls was 195? Look here, 195 hero souls. That means that we are at the optimal range where we're not going to be severely decreasing our DPS in comparison to what we've just spent for hero souls. The second thing you want to look at is over here where it says souls per hour. That means that optimally, if you were going to level 125 and it took you about 13 minutes each time, you would get around 9 souls, but it's not always going to be that, because you have to remember it, you're not always going to get the same amount. Sometimes you'll get primals more than others, sometimes you'll get them less. So it says around my average will be 9, and I'll have an average of 45 per hour. And it says that the improvement of overall 
from what I had before, leveling into all those guys, all of my ancients, gave me a 198% increase. That means both my damage per second and the gold per second increased severely, which is awesome. And lastly, it says soul spent on ancient levels. Yes, it will load up differently after I import this again, because before doing this, as you can see, they were all level one. I have not spent on any ancient levels at the moment. Some people say, oh, check down here. It says new ancient suggestions. Ah, it says if I were to get Kuma, it would be a 3.7 increase. But you have to remember this right here is only saying for at this point in the game right now, if you bought Kuma, you would have this small increase of 3.7. I would always follow the Ancients uh, link that I have posted both in chat in our stream at twitch.tv slash tedessence, or I'll probably have it linked below, so don't worry, it will be there. Um, other than that, there's not too much to worry. I prefer this calculator over others because it does take into account your, your um, Guild of Heroes, which is amazing. And this is something that I'll have uh, an explanation on in another video sometime soon, hopefully. Other than that, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.